So I've got this Electrolux dryer here, and we've actually had kind of some issues with it. Um, it actually burned out the uh, heating element, and one thing that happened probably a month, about a month or two before that, is that it kept indicating that we need to clean the uh, lint out of it. Well, we we clean it every time. You know, and here's the lint tray. Um, before we run it, we clean it every time, so that's not an issue, but what the issue was is that down behind this vent here, this ended up getting clogged solid with lint, and I don't know if you can see in there very well right now, but it's actually already starting to build up, and what happened was is this thing basically got clogged full of lint, and I suspect that got starved for air and the heating element burned out. Now as you can see down in there, there's already tons of lint down in there. So what I recommend is that maybe once every year, maybe even once every six months to clean this lint trap out. Um, and it's really easy to do actually. It's really actually easy to do. There's just three or four screws. One there, one here, and then there's two screws inside, one on each side. And if you take those four screws out, as I'm going to do here, um, you can remove this front cover. I'm going to remove the screws that hold the lint tray cover. Then the two inside that I showed you. And then after that, the lint cover just pulls right off here. And what you want to do is you want to vacuum this thing all off. And take a vacuum and vacuum all the lint out from down inside of there. No, I'm not sure that you can see it too much. This. This one I actually cleaned out about two months ago, like I say already, but I just want to let you guys know that, I mean, this is just two months of lint in there and you can see how much is in there. Um, we had let it run for, you know, about two years without cleaning it out and the thing was completely clogged shut. So I'm going to take a vacuum and vacuum that out and put it back together. Okay, so I've got it all vacuumed out down in there as best I can. Now all I'm going to do is put the cover back on and replace those four screws. And finally, we'll replace the lint catcher. And there you have it. That's how you clean the uh, lint out of the hard to reach places. And as I say, I recommend you should do this about, oh, once every six months probably, I'd recommend. Um, ours went two years and it was completely clogged after two years. So you definitely don't want to ha that to happen because ours burnt out the heater coil as a result. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you.